Our task is to recognize human action in a trimmed video. Different from images for video, the main challenge comes from how to model the 3D data with an additional dimension time. And more specifically, the action, the, more specifically for action recognition, the challenge is how to model the human motion or action's dynamic evolution. Lots of work has been done for video-based action recognition, taking advantage of the excellent rep representation power of a deep neural network. One methodology is to model the temporal information within the convolution diagram, such as C3D, which utilizes 3D convolution filters. And, uh, and, uh, the pop and uh, another popular work is two-stream network which learns the spatial and temporal filters separately. Another direction, to, another direction to solve the problem is to introduce recurrent network for sequence learning. The first work follows this line is the long-term recurrent convolution, convolutional network. And uh, attention-based LSTM are also used for the task. The challenge is that Complex action needs modeling of dynamic evolution, yet human action may be composed of different sub-actions. For example, to perform tennis, tennis serve, the actor needs to throw up the ball and then, and then hit it. And most existing approaches use video level category and the supervision to train the network. Here is a basic recurrent framework for action recognition. As we can see, the same video level category is, is used to su as supervision for every time step of the video. And uh, it's not an, it's a, it's not an effective uh, for learning dynamic evolution of action. As we all know, human pose is closely related to human action. And we observed that different drawings of human pose can be highly activated in certain feature maps. This also, this also implies that the human pose is a discriminative cue for action recognition. Also, human pose can proven useful, has proven useful for action recognition. And the evolution of human pose can provide important cue, cues for the task. Inspired by the above analysis, we propose recurrent pose attention network to solve the problem. Our approach is, in, our approach is mainly composed of three parts. First is the convolutional neural network. Then is the post attention part, which is the key component of our network. And the last is the recurrent network, which is used for sequence modeling. Our approach has several advantages. First, with the guidance of human joints, it can learn robust pose features, and it also has a byproduct, pose estimation. And next, I will describe the key part, pose attention with more details. First, the current video frame is fed into CN to generate a convolutional future cube. Then, then our, our post-attention mechanism is used to generate attention heat maps for different uh, human joints. Each human joint sanity map tells the convolution cube certain joints location to focus on. Since human, since human parts contain more robust information than individual joints, we group semantically related joints, joint feature into several body parts feature. And then these body, part fe these body part features are fused to get pose features. The proposed human part structure design en enables our network to deal with occlusions. More specifically, since the human part feature is calculated and the summarization of all 
related joints. In this case, when some joints are occluded, other joints in the same part may be also discrimi dis discriminative. Second, the post feature is a part the post feature is a part protein of all human part features. So when some parts are occluded, other parts may be distinct for action recognition. Next, the learned post feature are fed into long short term memory for sequence modeling. Note that previous hidden states of LTM is also used as input for post attention. We evaluate our method on two popular benchmarks in post-related action recognition, that is sub-GHMDB and uh, pen action. The evolution protocol is classic classification accuracy. And note that the joint information is only required for training in our network. Such information is not required for testing. To investigate the properties of our network, we compare the results with other baseline methods. The first row is the result of directly using LSTM for sequence modeling. And the second row is to use the attention mechanism without post guidance. And, and we also experiment with using separate joint feature instead of human part. And the results validate the effectiveness of our human part design. We compare our results with the recent state-of-art methods. And we can tell in the table, our method outperforms other handcrafted and deep learning approaches on the 2D data sets. Since we, post, since we use post information to supervise the attention heat maps, the learned standard map corresponds to the human joint's location and can be used for cost post estimation. Here we realize where our post attention focus in testing phase. As we can tell, the post attention can focus on the human joints locations. Also, the sentencing map generated from our post attention can be used for cost post estimation in videos. In conclusion, in, in this paper, we design a novel recurrent post attention network for action recognition with the dynamical guidance of human joints. And our, our network can be used for cost post annotation in videos. And the future work, for now our approach is only tested on post-related action recognition. And our future work is to extend, to extend the method to larger action recognition data sets without post annotation. And, and for now, our, our network has limited precision on post estimation, mainly due to that we generate the post estimation directly from the attention heat maps. And the heat maps are, are really small skill. It should be an interesting work, an, an intriguing work to solve the action recognition and the post estimation at the same time in a unified fashion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions from the audience? I have a question. So um, you uh, group some of the joint uh, heat maps uh, together. Yeah. Uh, how do you decide that uh, grouping and uh, how important that is to your result? Uh, we did a we did the experiments with and with and without the human part uh, setting, and uh, the human part human part uh, are separate are designed are designed based on uh, based on the, their semantic semantic relationship. Uh, for example, uh, for example, we uh, we design the human part as also elbow and wrist, knees and ankle. Since they are 
uh, the movements and the move pattern uh, uh, are similar in the same part. So you group the elbows together, not the elbow with the wrist, and uh, make human parts like the left hand or the right hand, which would make it more, more natural? Um, sorry? Oh, okay. Um, it, do you think that you will be able to learn this uh, grouping automatically? Mm. It's a good question. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, maybe a more dedicated method should be designed to achieve that goal. If there are no questions, then we can go to the next talk. Thank you very much.